and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a come thrift with me, which I haven't done in the longest time and I know they're your favourite videos and I apologise. Um, but I've been trying to be really careful with my consumption so I don't want to like go thrifting for a video, buy stuff for a video. Um, just for the sake of it to make content I like I just don't want that to be what my channel's about so I um, have just done less to come thrift with me it doesn't mean I don't pop into the charity shops every now and then but to like go specifically with the goal of getting stuff for a video has not been something that I've been wanting to do so today we are doing that but it's a little bit different because i'm not actually thrifting for myself i am doing a thrifty gal swap with a girl called jessica grace thrift here on youtube and what we are doing is we have sent each other pinterest boards for with the inspo and then we've got the goal to go and thrift each other an outfit and then we're going to send it to each other and unbox so at the end of this video i will be unboxing what jessica got me and at the beginning of this video i'm going to show you me going to thrift for her. I'm not obviously going to show what I do end up getting for her in this video. You'll have to go over to Jess's channel and check that out and see what I got her because she will do the unboxing in her portion of the video. But in my portion of the video, I'll show you what she got me and I'll show you um, in like, the second half portion of this video the um, kind of inspiration I sent her as well so you can see where she was going with the outfit once we get it. It's really exciting. I'm so, so excited that she reached out to me and was wanted to do like this collaboration because it's so fun and I love an excuse to go thrifting which doesn't mean I have to buy anything for myself so yeah um her style inspiration Pinterest board was very like Matilda Jeff like cool sustainable gal vibes like very like um chic Scandi kind of aesthetic that's how I'd call it I feel like this kind of look sits somewhere between like chic Matilda Jeff Scandi aesthetic and also like the cool kind of vlogging New York community so like Ruby Lynn um Madeline X Wild like those kind of girls um I think there's a couple of them on like on the Pinterest board as well like that New York thrifty community I love watching their content I think they are so like they're like on the pulse like I don't even know if they're on the pulse or they are creating the pulse like we're all wearing I'm gonna be wearing those headbands because Ruby Lynn wore them. The chokers with the like flowers, like they're setting the trends. Then like they, I, I feel like they come out with these things like boxer boots were one. They all started wearing boxer boots and I was like, no, we're doing boxer boots. Everywhere's doing boxer boots. I'd say probably in the summer, every high street brand's gonna have a pair of boxer boots. Um, like fast fashion brands gonna start doing them as well. So they, they're like so on the pulse. So I, what my aim would be for this video is to get her a denim like midi or maxi skirt. That would be something I'd really wanna thrift for her. And then like a really cool like leathery biker jacket. That would be like my, that's what I'm going for. But um, also she's got these gorgeous like slip summery dresses and as we're approaching spring and summer, that might be something fun to get her as well. And also I think she said she was a size 10, so it's quite an easy size to thrift as well, which makes my job much easier. She's got a little bit harder with me because obviously I'm um, a size sort of 12, 14 at the moment, but I would definitely say the 14 is a harder size to find than um, a 10. A 10 is quite, quite easy to thrift for so yeah I need to double check that but yeah she said pretty much size 10 but doesn't mind jackets being oversized so we can do oversized on the jacket um we are going thrifting in Hammersmith today so I'm going with my friend Kat who you've seen in many a video and uh, you've seen me thrift in Hammersmith before as well but they have a trade which I think is going to be somewhere that I'm gonna find really useful although we do have a 20 pound budget but I want to get the right outfit so without further ado let's go Today's outfit is super cute. I actually had to change the coat because I was going to wear my Charlotte Simmon one, but Kat thinks it's going to rain. So I'm wearing this cute little frilly shirt from, well, it's from, Vin, uh, from New Look, but by Vinted. These cool trousers, which I never remember where they're from, but because um, I'd never heard of the brand before, but they are from Farah. And then the trainers are from Trade, and they're like Elise, I think it's called. And the coat is White Stuff, which is the brand I work for in the sample cell, but yeah. And bag is Marc Jacobs and it's very stuffed, but it's the only one that fits my camera and everything in, so yeah, this the look. Oh yeah, definitely, this um. Oh, look at this. 
so sweet. Oh my god, they're beautiful. How much are they? £28. That's so nice. You're okay, big. Yeah, yeah. This, this rail is actually quite good. That's really cute. You look really good in that colour as well, especially with the new hair. Really cute. I like these little Yeah. Now I'm going to post it on TikTok. Um, I feel like this is like dead stock from Rhode Island. Like old school. And then it's got like an old school label on it as well. potential in the dresses. Yeah. Do you think it's a bag that would get faked really? No, I don't know. Let's just Let's beat see if up. there's any branding on the inside, okay. And here, I always check the labels when it comes to this sort of thing. Made in Vietnam. That's probably where it's made anyway. I think it's just like well loved. Well so. Loved. so that's why. And it's also, look, no, there no, a um, strap, no strap missing. But that's yeah, quite cute. It's quite I feel sweet. Like you could get one of those. Um, you could definitely just buy a straps. strap. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure they sell their straps anyway, don't they? You no, know those thick, colourful. Yeah. Straps like chevron or something pattern. Do you think you could clean it up? Definitely. Get some leather conditioner. Oh yeah, you could. So I got the Marc Jacobs bag. It's definitely going to be a bit of a project. I'm going to... Oh, these bags are cute as well. I am going to try and find a Marc Jacobs strap on like Vinted or something to put it all back together because the only thing it's missing is the strap and it definitely needs some tidying up there. Fun! Oh, a one pound rail. It's <gasps> what we love to see. <gasps> Stop it! No, that's so cute! Three quid, I'm having it. Yeah, 100%. 100 It's got is the... Uh, let, me, let me untangle you. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I'm really glad I got that on camera. What's this? Oh my God. Yeah, so fun. Prop us up here. I don't want to show the dress and things. I just like these for the like look, but like they are so fun. That's quite, that quite, oh my god, you must. <laughs> <laughs> Come and show the vlog. Come and show the vlog. <laughs> yeah. Do the thumbnail. That's nice. It is cool, isn't it? For a fiber. It's too small for me, but I like it. I've never heard of this brand. Yes, 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 Have you heard of the brand? Yes, I guess. Yes. Very nice. This clayborn is very um, That's amazing. Oh my god, that's so cute. ECBG Max <gasps> Oh my gosh, how much is it? Ten pounds. It's not too bad, is it? Yeah, these ones are so good. Yeah, I think you should 100% say that's going to swish or squish.
home and Petey's bought me my Valentine's flowers. They're so pretty and I'm gonna do like, it's been one, they explain like how to arrange them. So I'm gonna do like a proper arrangement moment. So excited and we got love heart biscuits. So just got home, I'll show you what I bought in a sec. Um, I'm obviously not gonna show you what I bought for Jess, that'll be in the next, in her video. But um, I did get some cushions covers from TK Maxx, um, no, from Ikea. So I got this one, which is so cute, it matches my mum's sofa, which I thought was really sweet. And then this is the one we had on already. And then I got this one, and they were a fiver each. Such a good price. Um, and this is them all together, but they will obviously get cuter arranged, but Pete's sitting on the sofa, so yeah. Let me show you Scott. So I picked, only picked up two things. I picked up, this was 10.99. It is the Marc Jacobs camera bag. And having Kat with me meant that she could verify that it was real for me because she has worked in that industry for, well, the, the like high fashion industry for a really long time. And she was like, it's real, it's just mad beaten up. So like it needs a good like leather clean, a good scrub which I'm happy to do, um, which is it's actually a really good bag. Like, it's got loads of room. I obviously adore my little Marc Jacobs bag that I've had for years. So I think once I've given this some of the love it deserves, it's gonna be amazing. Um, it's also missing its strap. So I was thinking I could either buy an actual Marc Jacobs strap for it. They're about 95 pounds, or I could buy a, um, just like a different like strap that's like the thick kind of straps that look similar for it as well so um that I can um like give it that like camera bag Mark Jacobs camera bag look and I found someone vintage for like a tenner so um I could add something like that to it that's probably realistically what I'm gonna do so I'll show you if I end up doing that to it hopefully it'll happen before um I film the end of this video so you'll be able to see but yeah I'm really excited about that it's just a really nice little bag and I'm gonna just yeah like revamp it and I think give it some love and it's gonna be you know that's like an uh, over 200 pound bag like I'll make it back up to that standard so the next part of the video will be me unboxing what Jessica got me um in our swap and I'll show you if I've fixed up the Marc Jacobs bag as well so yeah catch you in the second half of this video well I will probably look different have a different outfit on hopefully it'll be light outside hi guys oh do I look really disheveled do I look okay I don't know I can't tell I've it's Sunday I've just got home from a uh, women's self-defense class really random but it was actually really good really informative it was amazing, um, but I might look a bit <laughs> disheveled. But my package, what I can only assume is my package on dress has arrived. And I see a little pink bit here, um, but I just, I couldn't wait to open it. And I wanted to do like my genuine reaction. So I'll put to the sides here or to the side somewhere, some pictures of what I, um, like the inspo I sent her. So you can get a bit of an idea and let's get into this. Um, she should be receiving my package on Monday, hopefully, so she'll be able to film her portion of this video, but yeah, this is really exciting. Oh, she wrapped it all so beautifully. Mine is not this well wrapped, I'm so sorry, um, but this is gorgeous. It's all in like this pink packaging. I did put a little note in. Um, oh, this is so exciting. Oh my God, she's done so well. I can already tell. Um, oh, I took all the tags off mine. I hope, should have left them so she knew what she was getting. Um, but I did, oh, this is so sweet. Oh, she's wrote me a little note. I did write her a little note as well on a silly, oh my God, this looks like it's such a cute outfit. Okay, to start with, we have this cutest little coin purse. Oh my God, brand new with tags. We love to see it. Um, we don't actually love to see it because people shouldn't be donating brand new with tags, but I love it when I get to own a brand new with tags piece. And it's got a little E on it that is so cute. We then have the cutest little beret. Look at this, this is so gorgeous. I'm gonna wear it for the rest of the video. Um, oh my God, this jumper looks just amazing. Oh my God, that's so cute. Okay, and then this is the jumper. Look how cute this is. Oh my God. What does it say on it? A sweater shop. Oh my God, that is so cute. No, this outfit is so cute. Okay, that's the jumper. And then 
this is the trousers. Oh, what brand is it? It looks like it's like proper vintagey. Sweater shop made in the UK. I love it when something's made in the UK. Oh my god, the outside of London prices. Uh, this was four pounds. Like that's just so much better than um, we get here. But oh, so cute. And then I've got. Oh my god, they're so nice. Look at these trousers. Oh my god, look at the colour match. Oh my god, these are so cool. I've got to go get this outfit on because it's so cute. Let me pop it on for you guys. Okay, so this is the outfit on. That's not a good spot. Uh, this is my problem. I always, I never know where to film outfits. Okay, let's try it here. Let's see if this works out. It is so cute. I have so much crap on my bed because I've literally just come home and thrown. It's not even my bed, it's a spare bed. But this is so so cute the jumper fits like a glove honestly it fits so well as do the trousers like these i think i've been looking for like a linen trouser actually so like these are gonna be a summer staple like spring summer staple i can really feel it already um i just feel like they're gonna wash beautifully as well so i've just paired it on with my coach bag and with these little like uh old loafers because they kind of like complement Clash kind of compliment in a weird sort of way, the colour and oh my god this is so fun, I'm obsessed with it, oh, I want to do one of these challenges so if you'd like to do one with either me or, or Jess if, you've, uh, if you probably want to do it with her because uh, this is the kind of look she will pull for you, um, then just obviously slide into my Instagram DMs because this was so so fun to make, this jumper is so cool, oh my god I'm so excited, I absolutely love the outfit. Um, and yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the video guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and end it here I really really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the thrifting part and the unboxing of my outfit part Look at these sleeves. Oh my god. They're so fun um, Yeah, you're gonna see me you're gonna see me in this a lot um, I'm gonna definitely give it like put it all in the washing machine get it all like ironed and stuff and shoot a proper little look with it because so cute um yeah i really hope you enjoyed the video guys if you did please 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 remember to hit that subscribe button i upload videos fingers crossed every wednesday and sunday sunday seems to be my uh i definitely get a video up day but wednesday's looking a bit hit and miss at the moment but i've got some really really great ideas for content for the rest of march so um i really hope you're looking forward to that as much as i am and i'm also um going away next week so i will film that too i'm going back to my mama's homeland la palma in the canary islands so i'm obviously going to film that because it'll be a really end of special holiday trip i'm really excited yeah so i really hope you enjoyed the video guys and i'll catch you in my next one